whenever you like. Are you ready? Yeah. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for all you people watching our videos. To date, it is over 65,000 of you that have watched all of our videos. Thank you so much for your time. This here is an area of my compound, as my friends call it, that I don't really show to everybody, but I'm glad to show it to you. Today, I'm gonna show you not only Isaac the Bee Man, the Bee Man to the Stars, has a green thumb with the bees, as you've seen on my videos, he also has a green thumb for plants. This here is a very peaceful part of my compound. I sit here often playing with my plants, reorganizing them. There is a feeling that I can't explain to you. And today I'm gonna share it with you. First of all, I found this statue in somebody's garbage can about 20 years ago. And for this video, I went ahead, had Jose, one of my guys who you guys have seen in the videos. Uh, he's the one that played tax man on John Lennon and I. He was the head tax man. Put some green grass over here, run a hose, a motor, this, that. And this is the end result. And after I looked at the finished product, I thought I should ask you, my audience, one question. Has anybody ever done this to you? Well, my old secretary of 10 years, uh, who knew all my bank account numbers and the codes to get in, embezzled a lot of money. So let's get started over here. Let's see here. These here, these here are succulents in the family of the succulent right here. These are their babies right here. Let me show you the rare plants that I was telling you. Right here. Can you see them? Right there. I have no idea what family they are, but let me tell you, I love them. I've had them for about 10 years and they have not grown that much. But these are the two rare plants. They haven't given any flowers or seeds yet, uh, but they will another month or so. These here are some kind of carnation and they give a beautiful red flower. Over here, let me show you over here. These are all in the family of cycads. All the greens that you see in the back are in the family of cycads. This here is probably the most expensive plant I have here. It is a cycad. It has a ball and then the leaves come out of the ball. The reason this is so expensive is because of the color of the leaves. It is a blue color. If it was a green color, it wouldn't be so valuable, but because it is blue, it is valuable. Let's see here. These here are desert rose. All of these right here and they will hopefully give flowers in another month or so, and they will be beautiful. This side, these are my Home Depot racks where we have the different pots and we have dirt over here for transplanting, all kinds of stuff over here, all having to do with these plants. This is a cycad. This is very healthy cycad. This is another one. This is another one, a younger version. This is another, another. All the way down the road, I have these cycads because they don't require a lot of water. And 
They're easy to maintain. Once a month, you water them. They need trimming once every year. They're a perfect, easy plant to grow. Let's see here. Then we go over here. Over here, this is another cycad, a different family. They're all along here, and I have more cycads over there. Now, I'm going to take you to another part of the compound. I've had this cactus for about 40 years. Uh, they live, I think, about 80 years. These cactuses are native to Arizona. These are the ones that grow the arm on the sides of them. I've asked Nico, uh, who is one of uh, the people that shares my compound here with me. Uh, how long you been here? 18 years. He's been here 18 years, and when he moved in, uh, his daughter was five years old, and she, she grew up here, and I've watched her now. Uh, she is doctor, and also she got married last week. Her name is Brittany. Nico uh, works with me part-time, and uh, he's a friend. We've gone fishing many times together. Uh, Nico, so tell me, you moved here, and she was like this big, and? Five years old when I first moved in here with my little daughter, and uh, Ever since then, we just fell in love with this place. It's private, you know, got a good landlord and friend. And, and he took a picture uh, of his daughter standing right here with uh, this cactus. In the last 10 years, 11 years, this cactus has grown from here to here. 10, 12 years, only this much. I don't think it's going to grow the arms on the side like we see in Arizona, but I had to share this with you. This is the rarest plant that I have ever seen. Maybe you've seen things like this, and I'm going to show it to you in a second. First, take a look at this plant right here. There is another one over here. Do you see this plant? This is all the same family. And now the rarest plant that I have ever seen. And there is a lesson that I learned from this plant. And I'm gonna tell you in a minute what that lesson was. But here we go. to this plant this plant used to be a very large plant yes it is alive I've had it for like 28 30 years they cut the top and this section died termites ate all of this termites have eaten this this is alive all of these branches are alive. This plant is living by the skin of its trunk, by the skin of his teeth or her teeth. Take a look at this. Have you ever seen a plant survive for 30 years like this? Let me turn this for you. Do you see this?
This used to be a root that was in the uh, soil, getting nutrients up to these leaves. It has died. This is an old man or an old woman. I watch this plant carefully to make sure nothing happens to them for as long as uh, I can. As they say, we're all visiting this planet. Do you see that? That's the lesson I learned from this plant. No matter what, you hold on by the skin of your teeth and you will make it. Look at this plant. Look at these. The termites have eaten all of this. And this plant is well and alive. This here is a sago palm. I have three of them here. These are very common to uh, Southern California and they are in the family of cycad, just like the first plants that I showed you and the last one I'm gonna show you. Come with me. here I had a tree that died the tree was 75 to 100 feet tall it started going yellow I called an arborist he came over he said this is a very very old tree and uh, they don't live forever they die so I have accepted that one of my ancient trees on my compound property has died instead of taking out the whole tree i knew i need a space for my tortoises uh, my plants and sometimes i park a car underneath this awning take a look at what i built here these here are called staghorns You won't believe it if I tell you where this plant came from. Yes, Dion Warwick, 35 years ago, uh, Dion Warwick, the legend, 35 years ago was moving from Beverly Hills to New York. And she had this plant. I asked her for this plant and she gave it to me. My tortoises are right below. They live here. There's another one on the other side. This one here is the most beautiful one. Take a look at this plant. I've had it for about 35 years. All my tortoises are walking. Take a look. I'm gonna water this plant so you can see how we water it. These right here three and one more to finish up this video. These are Dion a Jewel. I'm gonna put it on the screen so you know what they are. These plants are native to Mexico. People in Mexico were buying big lands and tearing out all of these plants out of the ground and shipping them all over the world. The government of Mexico Many years ago, 25 years ago, put a stop to that, said you cannot export, import these plants. I got these about, oh, long time ago, 30, 40 years ago. So these are all in the family of cycad. And I'm gonna show you one that you have never seen before and maybe never see again. Come with me. This here 
is one of my favorite plants. I have it next to my bench over here. I sit here all the time. This is a desert rose and it's gonna give flowers pretty soon. Take a look at these beautiful plants. I don't know what they are, but take a look at these. They are precious. And look at this one, my God. And this one back here. Look at this, gorgeous, beautiful. Okay, let's go. Now I wanna show you a plant you've never seen like this. You've seen this species, but you've never seen this plant. Come on with me. This is my pride and joy. Take a look at this plant. Beautiful, huh? You see it? Gorgeous. I have to tell you a short story about this plant. I bought this from a cactus nursery that I know in my town. I bought this about 20 years ago, 25 years ago. The gentleman selling me this gave me a price and I told him, I said, that's really cheap for this plant. You know this plant is worth a lot more money. And listen to what he said to me. He said, I have been enjoying this plant for a long time. It is time to pass it on and let somebody else enjoy it. And I've been enjoying it every day as I go in and out of my house, right over here, looking at this beautiful, beautiful plant. Again, this is uh, from Mexico and this is very old. And ladies and gentlemen, just because of what this guy told me 25 years ago, I dedicate this video to my friend, Dave, my customer, and also my cactus plant nursery. Thank you, Dave. You probably wonder what do I do uh, when it gets real hot, which today is a pretty hot day in Southern California in Los Angeles County where I am. So, you know, I watched the movie, The Ten Commandments, and I learned from Moses, he parted the sea, I make water, I make rain come. So my job is really simple. I, all I do is turn on a valve, watch me. See that? Nothing to it. I made it rain. Do you see that? I have the same powers as Moses did parting the sea. I make it rain. Sometimes if I'm hot, I take off my shirt and I get underneath there. Let me tell you, it's a great feeling. Watch. Sometimes we do jumping jacks here. Ah, beautiful. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.